Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm gonna do an Eden run. I know we did an Eden run two runs ago. Oh, I didn't replace my pencil. I just remember I picked it up and I remember discussing how terrible it is. Oh, here we go. I mean, it should hold it up to the microphone so you can hear how terrible it sounds. V, C, X, D, 63, W, H. I know it might seem like a weirdo, it's just that feeling of like the wood scraping on paper. Just some things that give me the heebie-jeebies, man. So we got mom's coin purse and uh, the nail. Let's use the nail first. And one of these is telepills, which actually took us to the secret room, where we can do some creative kind of locomotion, Kylie Minogue style, and that's gonna give us the red patch. We got a whole weird thing going on here. I'm really hoping one of those pills ends up being 48 hour energy. That would set us up so nicely spirit heart wise for the rest of the game. It's another telepills, of course. Tears up is awesome. Bombs are key is meaningless, but good to know right now. And hematomesis, which basically just gave us a bunch of free red hearts. Truth be told, you know, that's pretty good. We got a tears upgrade, a couple of telepills. I'll try to use telepills on this floor to get an I am error room. And the odds of it actually working for us are pretty insanely low, you know. But I think it's better on this floor than it would be on any floor that comes after it because there's just less rooms on this floor than any floor that comes after it, presumably at least. I mean, the basement part two might have less, but it, sh it should technically have more because, no, there's technically a deal with the devil that exists, technically, technically, you know, I, basically technically is, the funny thing about technically is that it's a word that its literal dictionary definition is exactly the opposite of the way that it's used in practice, which is to say that I use technically in practice to mean I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but really, technically should mean, well, as a, you know, as a plumber, here's what's going on with your pipes. Technically, the pipes don't all go to the same place. They get sorted at the sanitation factory, but instead it becomes, you know, well, technically, pff, toilets just work, man. Don't question it, or they might stop. We're about to beat Larry Jr. here. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm hoping for, but I guess HP wouldn't be bad, but DPS is fine as well. I know I'm a scumbag for not shooting all the poop, but I'm not going to shoot all the poop. The moon card is definitely something we'll take down to the next floor, and this is a pretty potent Eve start. If you missed it a couple episodes ago, I talked about Eden, sorry. I talked about uh, how often I'm going to do Eden runs. I don't think I'm going to do Eden every second game, because it strikes me as like a little overkill. But I think I will do Eden whenever I feel like it, if that makes sense. Sure, Cancer's alright here. Oh, we're like straight up blue baby style here. I think, like we can't get red hearts, or maybe we started with an HP debt? I don't think it's a thing that exists in Rebirth, but we'll see. Anyway, maybe I'm just confused about the actual implications of uh, using cancer. So that was really stupid, I should have used the nail on that room, that's obvious, and uh, a mistake that hopefully is relatively minor, but truth be told, it was pretty shitty anyway. We're gonna finish this off by using our telepills on the curse room. And we just got spiders. No I am error room, but this is right where we want to go down to the next floor anyway, so this is a really good situation to find ourselves in. Let's head down to the next floor. I, this has been a lot of Eden runs in a short amount of time, but I'm going to keep doing it for now because I like Eden. And I feel like I'm in an Eden-esque mood and people are always asking for Eden, so I don't think anyone's going to be too mad about it. Guppy's collar right off the bat. Bombs are key, no thank you. Explosive diarrhea. See you in hell, powers. We're going to teleport. And that is 10 extra cents right there, which puts us in a position where conceivably... Uh, we, we could probably find it within this run to make good use of the shop, which is, well, not this run, but this, uh, this particular floor. So we're gonna try to blow up Nasty Green Fly there, which took out, like, half of the Riff Raff. We have 13 cents, one key. 14 cents, one key. 15 cents, one key. Let's try to use that on our shop, where we can get, oh, for sure. Mom's key, which gives us extra keys. And then also uh, makes all chests basically incredibly worthwhile, followed by the Ouija board. This is going insanely well so far. Is there also a battery in here? No, but there is a spirit heart, which is effectively a battery. <laughs> Although we, we can't, I would have loved to crush all the rocks in this room, but maybe we can come back and do it and have a decent chance to get a, uh, well, we'll probably do it in here instead so we get the guaranteed payout from this thing. But um, we're, we're looking extremely good right now. I don't want to call it a one run unnecessarily, but again, if an average run is a win, in Rebirth, then uh, an above average run, you gotta have an above average chance to win on it, right? So we're uh, we're sitting very, very pretty right now. I don't think there's any need for us to farm up the nail damage, like we already have DPS that is very, very potent. 
We'll just make sure we don't get hit by Dingle. It's been refreshing to fight Dingle uh, a little bit more often. We've been fighting a lot of Monstro. We've been fighting a lot of the Haunt in our like distant past in Rebirth. That was stupid of me. But now we have the Wafer effect on this room, which is effectively meaningless. But hey, um, that's thanks to Cancer, by the way. In case you're not to totally familiar with Cancer, it gives you the HP upgrades. Which I, I can't remember if it's just three Spirit Hearts or if it's supposed to normally be a Red Heart. But for some reason, we got three Spirit Hearts out of it. Yeah, we definitely want this. That's all we need to take there. I mean... Yeah... Ghost Baby's not worth it. The only good item in there was this. That's fine. I thought about taking the shovel and looking for a black market, but it's it's a stupid play. It, it's like a, you know, bravery play. Check out how dumb I am, basically, but... Might get the job done. It's not to say it wouldn't work. I'm just saying it's not very likely. Forgot what I was saying earlier about, um... The situation we're in, but that's a, a pretty good first deal with the devil. We have no like it's it's a guilt-free deal with the devil because basically we paid nothing for a damage upgrade. So I can't really be too overly salty about the situation. This is a, a suboptimal way to do this, but actually, you know what? We'll pop the nail here, and then that actually allowed us to get some extra bombs, which will allow us to open up all those uh, tinted rocks. And by all those, I mean maybe just the one, but still, that ended up maybe working out. Red Patch or Rosary Bead? I think we want to hold on to Rosary Bead. Even if it does mess up uh, our chances for other consumable drops, and admittedly I just don't know that it does. But even if it does, if we're going to be rolling exclusively on Spirit Hearts, we should, uh, you know, find it within ourselves to spawn as many Spirit Hearts as possible. It's early, but it's really hard to imagine this run uh, coming out as a loss at this point. Like, it's just, it's looking very, very, very strong. We're already almost at the HP cap. We got a Guppy item. Not guaranteed deals with the devil, but that can change. <laughs> Not every run needs to have the goat head, but if they want to, I'll be here for them. Almost hoping for some uh, golden chests to show up. Because with Mom's Key, golden chests go from like a risk to an incredible reward, usually. I thought we'd be able to walk our way through there. So we'll use a bomb here, and uh, I guess I'm not going to look for my... Second secret room. Instead, we're just going to head down to the next floor. We're at six minutes, which is roughly where we want to be to maybe do boss rush. I apologize for talking so much about boss rush, but I'm going through withdrawal, man. I've been having these really strong runs, but still finding it unable to actually get to boss rush. It's making me feel a little inadequate, and I've got to, you know, reassert my position as a, as a useful member of society here. Guillotine! My, my impetus for taking guillotine is that I think it's bad, but it's bad because I suck with it. If I can get good with it, then I can enjoy taking it. <laughs> it's like vegetables, you know? Or any acquired taste, I guess, you know? You don't like coffee until you have coffee a few times, usually. Some people are, you know, weirdos about it. Oh, I like coffee since I was a baby. Yo! Parents shouldn't be feeding you coffee, dog. If you don't have to get up and go when you're like eight years old to go to school, which is basically just glorified, you know, fun and games for an eight-year-old, you gotta get that checked out of the doctor. You might have like a, you know, freaking anemia or something. I did not even know that, that was a Tinted Rock. Lucky me. Also, Guillotine is an orbital. It would have been awesome if we could have had Guillotine in conjunction. Well, we got no choice here, huh? It would have been awesome if we could have had Guillotine in conjunction with the uh, Unicorn Stump on the last area. But we didn't. Using the nail is one of those things that always gets people riled up as well, because I use it so terribly. The correct way to use it is to, well, the most correct way to use it, is to either use it to crush rocks or to use it as the huge damage bonus that you get, which is where I'm, how I'm going to use it here. Um, but oftentimes, I end up using it at the end of the room. It's the same thing I have with, like, the sun card. I so rarely use the sun card as effectively as it can be used. And my excuse is always bullshit. My excuse is always, well, I'm going to win anyway. Who cares? But what I really should say is, you know, thank you for the feedback. I, I'm, I'm taking a good look at myself, and I'm going to try to internalize it and do better in the future. But you know how it is, man. You know how it is. It's hard to take that stark look at yourself at all times and all places. I really should have tried to push that bomb downwards. I love it. It was just a foregone conclusion before I even did it. But if we had pushed that bomb downwards, we would have been able to get into that um, curse room for free. Which we still probably will be able to do. But we could have done it now, which would have been nice. And we also could have used a bomb there. But, I mean, we were already doing pretty well on keys. It's not that big of a deal. Little chubby. It's pretty good. A little, uh, a little worse. If it's normally like a B item, 
I know I gave it like a B plus on the when I got it on the chest earlier yesterday, but um, that's because we were on the chest and I was like, hey, you know, I could use a damage upgrade. For now, it's pretty decent. Yeah, we'll take this too. And uh, additionally, our head is circling around, which I'm not sure if that's a positive or a negative when it comes to little chubby, but it is what it is basically. So ideally, the way that this works out, we get a deal with the devil. Our deal with the devil gives us the goat head, and then we just, you know, snowball out of control for the rest of the game. Will it actually end up working out that way? I doubt it. Stranger things have happened, though. Take our key. Still no bombs. A little disappointing. We can always just use the spirit art to go into the curse room if we want to anyway, but... Then we'll pop this, and we'll take damage. But this is already over. We lost one spirit heart, but we're gonna get one back. Presumably. Yes. And pageant boy. Uh, you know, pageant boy's not really what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Gives us enough to buy the battery if we want to. Not the battery, but the, the charge, you know what I mean. Could be worse. Could always be worse. So we've already been to our item room, we've already been to our shop. I'll, I'll explore the rest of the floor, but we're not going to make good use of that, even though we could with the nail. Um, I'd rather save our money for, a, I guess, a chance at an arcade, maybe a demon judgment on the next floor. Still hoping for a bomb payout, so we don't have to pay extra to go to our curse room. We could walk over that, but I don't think it's worth it. So we're going to pay one spirit heart. I know we have a spirit heart back there in our room with Mr. Boom, but I'm just not going to go back for it because I'm a piece of crap. That's awesome. That's two guppy items, and this is Caves 1, right? Caves 1 means we can totally use this to get something. It's a range upgrade, but that, it, literally that's something. And we got our second guppy item for free. And a range upgrade. Thank you, excuse me, thank you very much. And I'm not going to stress out about the fact that we're not at the HP cap, because we're going to get there anyway. The other the excuse I should use when people make fun of my, uh, you know, minute decisions I make that turn out poorly, is just say, you know what, I'm not a min-max type player. Part of the fun for me is being shitty mentally. But still, like, in terms of my actual mechanical play making up for it. Not that I'm a particularly skilled, you know, mechanical player or anything like that. I mean, I dabbled in high school, but since then, you know, mo mostly just an amateur. Um, we're going to be up to 15 cents, which is awesome. This is Catacombs 2. I'm still holding out hope for Boss Rush, but we're going a little slow. And honestly, our damage is probably... I don't want to say our damage is bad, because it's not, but it's probably below the point where I would expect to be able to make up, like, on the orders of minutes. I don't think we're making up minutes on this run. We could probably make it to the point where we're making up minutes, you know, going faster than we need to go by 10-15%, but uh, it's going to take a while to get to that point. That was a really dumb dodge on my part. I'm trying to get in there and be cutesy with the guillotine. Pretty silly play. Just wait for Mega Maw to show up, and actually with Mega Maw, if we can get our head in there, we can do a ton of damage. Because he's got lower HP. Plus, it'll block the fires, but it's a little bit of a risk. But I guess if we get hit, I just don't give a shit, really. Sorry, Key Beggar. As much as I'd love to, I can't. And again, this is like, you know, exactly what happened on the last run. So I feel bad for doing exactly the same thing over and over and over again. But we can't not take uh, left hand here. The chances of becoming Guppy are too high. We gotta do what we gotta do. Isn't it, again, I can't really say that this is a, a weak start or anything like that. This is actually a good start. Interesting items. Maybe it hasn't fully worked out the way that I'd want it to, but we also had any anytime you get a comfortable Eden start, I'm not going to complain. This could be Guppy right here, and we haven't paid uh, you know a single Spirit Heart for any of the Guppy items. So we broke even on that room, if I remember correctly. Look, I, this early, as much as I would love to have a flippin' attitude, I can't just abandon one penny. And really, I, I love the Toothpicks pickup on this run. Still getting used to the fact that the toothpicks actually is not completely meaningless the way it was in vanilla. We're gonna pop this here. Oh, that's actually pretty good timing for this. We can now uh, get to this red chest easily and uh, take some damage in the process and then unleash a couple of troll bombs. I didn't even see that other one down there. A few spiders. Helpful, but uh, maybe not um, the most immediately worthwhile thing. Hopefully we can bring the nail back there. Because that would allow us to access that red chest. I mean, this is how the, the grind is going to go, basically, now that we've gotten left hand. We're going to encounter a lot of situations like that. A lot of red chests. And not many of them are going to pay out effectively, but that's not going to stop us much. I would love to get blue map, by the way, but for now, we'll stay away. 
Having trouble seeing that one thanks to Curse of Darkness. Not sure if it's a tinted rock, but we're going to try to bomb it anyway. Uh, now that I can see it, it's not a tinted rock. So instead, I'm going to put the bomb like here. Make me guppy. Make me guppy. Hey! Make me guppy. All right, this is a one run. It's it's very early to call it, but come on. One of these telepills? No, three explosive diarrhea. One health upgrade. So we actually can make use of our health. That is super weird. That That's the first HP we've seen on this run. And now, considering our rate of fire, this, this shit is over. Like, we can make up a lot of time now. If we want to. Halo is a crazy good pickup. We can actually get rid of the nail if we want to, strangely enough. Okay, now we can fly. We're guppy. That all stats upgrade is crazy. We could drop the left hand if we want to. I'm going to. Now, admittedly, if I'm going to drop the left hand, I probably should go back and pick up Rosary Bead, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave that spot open for another, um, another trinket to occupy in the future. Not because Rosary Bead is bad, but because I am the world's laziest man and I've got a reputation to uphold as the world's laziest man. All right, now that we got all this shit, let's go ahead through our door there. I think we can make boss rush, and with uh, RNG Jesus as my witness, I think we've got blue map, of course. But I think we've got a pretty good chance of being able to kill boss rush as well. So why not take the opportunity to do so? Uh, we don't have any bombs. All right, maybe we can use the nail. I think it's the nail or the shovel you can use to find secret rooms, but it doesn't matter. We're just gonna go down to the next floor. I think we're at like 14 minutes, so we got to make up a little bit of time. But we're in the we're in the business of making up a little bit of time here uh boss fights gotta be bottom left but that doesn't matter because we've got to hit up two item rooms in the process hopefully we find one quickly here should have used uh, the nail on that room i got going a little too quickly actually there was no reason to use the nail on that room because we haven't lost hp yet good point self nicely done don't get down on yourself now we can use the nail on our next room here easily done so work our way back this way, and we'll go check the top left over here. If we ignore the dead ends, I think it's extremely likely that we do end up, you know, making boss rush happen here. And again, I can't really act like, oh, this is going to be some triumph of the will or something like that. You know, we're, we have guppy, we have good damage and good DPS as a result of stuff like the toothpick. That was... <laughs> That's one reason I maybe don't always love the guillotine still. Um, hematomesis could be nice for us, depending on what we find, but... Uh, the bomb got lodged between my face and my body. And I don't know if you've ever had that situation happen in real life, but once an explosive device gets lodged between your face and your torso, it's very difficult to get it out. It's like when someone throws a dodgeball at your stomach, right? If they're throwing it at your head or your arms, you can get out of the way more easily. If they throw it at your stomach, what are you going to do? Just, you know, put an interdimensional portal there or something? It's pretty unlikely, I would say. You can quantum tunnel, but I've never seen it done. So, uh... I don't know. I don't think your odds are going to be too good. Two of Hearts is, again, it's okay if we can find a good use for it. I kind of prefer Hematomesis just for just for novelty's sake, because we can use it on a second secret room to pick up a bunch of Eternal Hearts. Not that we would even necessarily want that right now. Hopefully this will be a... Uh, oh, I love you, Mom's Key. Thank you very much. I love you, Mom's Key. That's what I always say. Uh, we don't have any like Eastern European heritage, but it just it rolls off the tongue nicely. You can't say the word tongue and mom in the same sentence unless there's a medical problem. It's just, it, it conjures up all sorts of terrible, you know, potential imagery. Just stay away from that. Alright, we got a lot of each consumable, which is mom's key, basically, in action here. Now that we're not using uh, red chests as a result of the left hand, all of these chests are going to become extremely useful for us. You know what would be awesome with this that I'm realizing right now? Um, mom's contact. I mean, mom's... So good. Mom's contact is awesome in a variety of situations, but this would be one of them. Freeze them, then hit them where it hurts with a bunch of flies. I thought this might be our situation. I don't even use Dead Sea Scrolls once anymore because I'm a big old baby, but uh, it it's nice if it works for you, and if it doesn't work for you, it's just god-awful. So my, th my thinking is why take the chance right now. We're already in an amazing situation. We're going to stick with the nail for now. Of course, we're going to go back for that key and that key. I just want to go to our shop, and this is not it. But we have so much time. We've only spent two minutes on this floor so far that I'll probably end up going to this uh, mob trap room. Yeah. We're only 17 minutes deep. We'd have to fight some pretty hellish bosses to really make this uh, super problematic for me. And there's Guppy's head. We got four Guppy items again. It had been a while since we'd become Guppy, so I'm not... Uh, I'm not sweating it too much. I'm actually quite happy to become Guppy, but 
It's all right. Why even pick it up? Shit, man. I guess so that we don't pick it up in the future. Only three, I think. And then these guys. These weirdos. Can't believe we didn't kill him with one fly. All right. Open this up. Yeah. We can already fly, but I guess I don't mind having an extra eternal heart thrown on top of it. That took a little longer than I'd like to uh, than I'd like to recognize. So we're gonna really have to, you know, get our asses in gear here. And I'm still hoping for a teleportation card. I'm starting to doubt that we're gonna get one, but I would like to. <sighs> Didn't quite think we'd make it through there, but that's okay. What do you think? Let's drop a bomb down there while we're tackling the rest of this room. Throw another one down here. No cards, but a black heart. Wow. That sucks. Oh, there's a card there. Judgment. Not Demon Judgment. What do you got for me, buddy? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? You got nothing right now. I gotta go to our shop. I'd love to stay in chat. Please, let me in. We're at 18 minutes already. I think we've got time, but I want to be sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely Humbling Bundle first. And then we'll blow this up like twice. That's enough. That's enough. There's options is not that amazing, but it's amazing enough. We can use it for one item room. Come on, come on. We can do this. We're out of money. We can't do it. I'm sorry, Judgment. You didn't deserve that in the first place. Telepills. Yo, that's it right there. That's how we get out of boss rush. Okay. I think we're going to actually be able to do it this time. And then we'll use Hematomesis on our second secret room when we come out. Not that we'll need it necessarily. All right. Tons of time. What was I even worried about? I actually forgot that we had two bosses, but our first boss went down very easily. And we'll take Code Hanger. And then boss number two. Perhaps you've heard of them. Almost done again. Oh, this is some nice damage. Yeah, this is good. We'll take this. We'll quickly shoot over to our deal with the devil, where we will... Uh, I guess for sure take Brother Bobby and then Abaddon on top of it because it's going to take away all of our red hearts anyway. And then into the boss rush room where we'll take Cricket's head. I know Dark Bum's there. I'm taking Cricket's head for the raw damage. We teleport out. I hadn't done that room apparently. Alrighty. Where's my hematomesis pill? That would be like right, oh, right here? Yeah, what's this one though? Tears up. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Hematomesis might not seem that usable anymore. But if there's like black hearts in here, I don't know. We'll see. There, check this out. Woo. Created some more red hearts. Lovely. Alright, well this is a, this is a very one run right now. We just improved ourselves drastically. Like, we just picked up three damage? <laughs> That's... That might not sound like a lot, but... It's actually crazy. Plus we're guppy, so our flies actually just picked up like... Six damage. That's pretty nuts. Plus we have the nail. Plus we have humbling bundle. Plus we have there's options. Yeah, I mean, this this is certainly one. The only question is the speed at which we will win it and what kind of items we'll pick up in the meantime. So this is the kind of run where I am hoping. What is this? Shoot the whoop. No, thank you. I am hoping for some uh, Yara rune action. And we're actually able to use the guillotine pretty effectively here. Not because I'm good with it, but because. Even if something does damage to us, it doesn't matter. Because we're, you know, Beelzebub, Destroyer of Worlds. We might as well. I mean, we're, we're going to be storing a charge anyway, because we don't want to use it right now. Storing a charge! I'm interested to know what that means on Urban Dictionary. That's like when you hold a poop in, because you, you're ashamed to poop in public. And you, you've been storing a charge all day. They'll be like, why are you walking funny, Ryan? Oh, uh, you know, I've been storing a charge ever since I got on the school bus this morning. There you go, storing a charge. If it if it didn't exist before, we have now willed it into existence. Yeah, why, why, why take Ace of Spades? Why not, right? And we'll fight probably the easiest boss we could fight. I wanted to make sure we used the nail before it became a problem. You know, before we didn't get the damage bonus. This is a very shitty devil room to finish this off, but hey, picked up some more flies. I always like the left and uh, give us Bible Tract, Wheel of Fortune. I mean, Bad Trip sucks, but Wheel of Fortune is fine. Uh, we can use that on the chest to generate another uh, another item. 
Curse of the Blind. Again, I say this all the time, but if you're gonna get Curse of the Blind, getting it on the womb too is pretty much the way you want that shit to go down. We actually do need all these consumables. I don't mean to go over them so many times, but it's so hard to actually get them the first time because of the freaking guillotine, but here we are. Open that up. This is why, like, with, with Mom's Key, give me as many golden chests as you possibly can. I'm, I'm excited to open them. They almost always pay out with two, well, two keys because we have Humbling Bundle, but the, the synergy is out of control here. We got nothing to worry about when it comes to these. We are never or very rarely going to golden chest ourselves out of keys in this situation. So I, I got a little ballsy there, and I decided to run into every single enemy thinking they wouldn't possibly be able to hit me before... Uh, we killed them all with our flies. That was a dumb decision, and I apologize. But we do have the wafer effect, thanks to cancer. So every time we get hit twice on a room, the, the hits that are past the first one don't count. For Well, they, they count, but they count for half as much. So this is pretty much already over. And by pretty much, I mean by the time I finished that sentence, it was already over. Weirdly enough, no brimstone, no knife, no death's touch. And this is still going to end up being a lot faster than the last run in which we had some of those items. Like, we're only at 22 minutes on the freaking cathedral. Crazy Town. I'm actually sponsored by Crazy Town. Their manager at EMI pays me uh, fifteen dollars every time I mention them in my videos. It's been a very lucrative arrangement thus far. I have made dozens of footlong sandwiches from Subway. Especially when I chain the reference into my sponsorship with Subway, they give me a footlong every time I mention that I get a footlong when I talk about Crazy Town. So uh, really, I'm just getting paid in sandwiches. But isn't that every young man's dream? I don't know if I want that HP, to be honest with you. I'm just going to leave that question unanswered. I mean, I might want the HP. Why wouldn't I want the HP? Because uh, we have the nail, and it doesn't give us as much room for spirit hearts, I guess. But why do we even want spirit hearts instead of red hearts? I guess it doesn't matter all that much. Not too worried about going to every single, uh, you know, important room here. Mostly just trying to make sure... I mean, because the rooms here aren't that important. Mostly just trying to make sure we find our boss room in a relatively timely fashion and find ourselves, uh, you know, finishing the run. Going about our daily business, hopefully picking up a Yara rune. Extremely unlikely, but stranger things have probably happened. Goathead. Just in time. Tammy's head. So this was actually what I was thinking. Tammy's head is going to be awesome. Goodbye, the nail. Goodbye, my friend. You've been the one for me. That is a, a very good item. Uh, but Tammy's head, because of our damage, is going to be so good for us. I can't say no. Let's see if we can... We might as well take it, but I, I don't know. I get a certain perverse sense of pride in not taking it, I guess. My hope is that we also pick up some better uh, synergies for Tammy's head. Like, as is, we're going to be doing all right with it. But it could always be a little better. We don't have, like, lump of coal or anything going on here, so... not We're not really starved for damage or anything like that, but... The Tammy's head potential is much higher. It's a freaking Perthrow rune, dog. Perthro is effectively better than Wheel of Fortune. No question about it. You get four possible chests instead of just the one. Another spirit heart. Never hurt anybody. Except the enemies that we are about to plunder. Perthro is probably... And when I say probably, I mean definitely. It's definitely my second favorite rune. Not going to worry about the moon card because we just get lost considering we got Curse of the Unknown. Um, it goes definitely like Yera is like an order of magnitude better than Perthro is like an order of magnitude better than uh, Algiz, and then you got like Vision is pretty good, Purity, Degas is pretty good, Awaz is probably the worst. I even like um, Burkano, the companion rune. Depends on your damage though. You'd, you'd almost have any other rune. You'd almost rather have any other rune, I should say, except for probably Awas. Although it's always nice to have a chance to get to the black market. You know, it's it's a little bit of a gamble. It's the thrill of the hunt more so than it is the actual effect of it. Boom. Down to the next floor. Perthrow rune, don't fail me now. Give me some sweet Tammy's head synergies. This run's almost over. What's your problem, Tomo? How you doing? Feeling good? Woke up from a little cat nap? We're definitely taking Parasite, Mr. Mega... We'll, we'll, we'll check out and see what we've got in Deck of Cards. Judgment. Let's play Judgment before we use Perthrow, but we're definitely going to take this. I don't think we're going to take any of the other three, to be honest with you. And that's not to say Mr. Mega is bad, but rather to say that I think we can do better. Mr. Mega is a, a pretty great item, but if we can reroll another one, why not, right? 
So we get, uh, we got Spider Baby out of it, which is actually substantially worse. But, uh, Isaac's heart, I'm not fucking touching. Sorry to tell you. Tammy's Head Anti-Grav. I'm not sure if it's good or terrible, but Blood of the Martyr is definitely awesome for us. Give us a Key Beggar here. Man, when we want the Key Beggar, we never get the Key, the key Beggar. Bombs are key. Can't believe we hadn't had that pill before. I mean, we might as well go for broke here. Maybe get a magic mushroom or something. Or some money. Um, my thinking in anti-grav tiers being awesome with Tammy's head is this exact situation. If we get an enemy to, like, jump on top of us, they can hit all of our Tammy's headshots. I'm not picking up some of the other items just in case we get another Perthrow rune. It's extremely unlikely, but can happen. Oh, we should go back for that item for sure. My mistake. And another one right there. Sacrificial Dagger, so good. I want to trade some of the items on this run with uh, the last run. Where we had the uh, Unicorn Stump, but never made it work. Unicorn? Did I really say Unicorn? A little worried about myself here. You know what? Let's do all these rooms. Now that I know this isn't the boss room, I'm not in a rush. Let's get these rooms done. Pick up some good stuff. I'm happy with this run. I mean, how, how could you not be, right? Like, we're kind of balling out of control a little bit, but... I love that, like, the Tammy's headshot, and then you can hold the tears there if you don't want to leave. Or close your eyes, because you'd miss them, baby, and of course you probably don't want to miss the thing. Almost picked that up by accident there, just trying to locomote. But we can, like, leave the tears in the air, and then when they go off, we spawn, like, 15 flies. It's very satisfying. I am become Burkano, destroyer of worlds. I like the spinning teeth in the air, too. It's a nice touch. Nothing there. Yeah, jump on me. Jump on me. I'm holding them. I can't hold these shots forever. There we go. I'm taking a lot of damage, I gotta admit. It's a little bit of lazy play. A rate of fire is so absurd, though. Chase me. I fucking dare ya. Yeah, we spawned like a hundred flies right there. Those bombs not necessarily particularly important. Got a nice little ring of flies following us around. I'm still hoping for that Perthrow rune, or maybe like a Yara rune or something. I doubt it. I doubt it's coming. Explosive Diarrhea. Can you use Explosive Diarrhea D20? That would be awesome. Joker? Two of clubs? Alright. Tears up? Don't mind it. I mean, got a staggering amount as is, but it only gets better. Assuming it actually works. You just made the biggest mistake of your life. Fuck it, I'll do it. I'm not scared. We still get to maintain our guppiness. Okay, what is this? It's... Oh, uh, I don't know what I've done, you guys. I, I think it's good. Definitely there's some Proptosis Tiny Planet shit going on here. This is freaking mesmerizing, man. I think we got Infestation 2 on this run, too, which is just insane, but... I have no idea what I'm doing here, but I love it. This is actually beautiful. Oh, we'll, we'll go back for that. Can't hurt, I guess. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. We'll pick it up uh, on our next pass through. Look at this, like, when you just walk backwards. That's so freaking cool. I Again, I have no idea what's causing it, but this looks awesome. If you can figure out what interactions of items are causing this without looking at the stats screen, I would love to know. You'd be like a Binding of Isaac genius. Certain, is there a chest in, no. Some tiny planet for sure, some proptosis, some fire mind. Everything else, Jesus, man, I don't know, but it is it is pretty cool. So I'm going to fight Blue Baby like this. Let's reroll midway through the run. What do we got now? Like quad shot tech. Okay, sure, that's cool too. Got concussive tears in there. Rotten Baby. Still guppy. Interesting. <laughs> a cool finish, anyway. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more of the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.